Michael M. J. Fisher has written chapter 8 in Writing Culture. It's about uh, autobiographies by authors from uh, ethnic minorities in the USA. Armenian American, Chinese American, African American, Indian American in the sense native or indigenous American and um, Mexican American. And uh, he basically explores the ethnographic qualities and how how autobiographies could uh, be a key to writing interesting ethnographies. And he identifies certain techniques that these authors use. And it's actually quite interesting. The first technique is the dreamlike technique where the author assembles various fragments from the past. And there is also the technique of uh, using alternative selves. Charles Mingus does this in Beneath the Underdog from 1971, where there are uh, multiple voices, but everyone is basically himself. And there is also on that topic something called bifocality, which is used uh, by Marita Golden when she compares Nigeria and the US by focality so you to use two focuses in order to yeah to compare cultures basically so this is a form of cultural criticism which you can do by showing how customs and patterns look like in another culture and thereby realizing that these these patterns are not given in your own culture already margaret mead did that and then there is uh, linguistic play, which he calls interreference or interference. This is uh, particularly used in Mexican American autobiographies where Spanish and English are mixed together in a way that is very uh, effectful, but also very hard for, to understand for someone who doesn't speak Spanish. But I thought that the one of the most interesting technique here is ironic humor. To, to use humor is almost to go the extra mile and to um, the, the easiest thing would just to be a full frontal attack, but humor sort of catches the reader off guard in an effectful way. Uh, and uh, for example, Indian Americans have used the superficial romanticism of whites in the US regarding their customs and so on. And then uh, there is an interesting example. N. Scott Momaday wrote The Names in 1976, an autobiographical novel. And in that he goes back to his childhood, but he, who is an Indian American, he partly imagines himself being white and partly Indian. And uh, that lets him in a way relive his past or reclaim his past in this work, which is which I found very interesting. Yeah, so um, that was it, basically a short summary there, uh, but basically a very inspiring chapter about the potentials of uh, autobiographies in autoethnographic work, uh, maybe. So now we have only one chapter to go, which is Paul Rabinov.